Hi everyone, my name is Anna Marta. I'm one of the room leads at Focus Surrey and I'm also the art planner for the club. And today I'm going to show you how to make a happy caterpillar out of a paper plate. And all the things you will need for today are paper plates, a pair of scissors, some glue, and I am not having paint today. I am using some crayons from Faber Castle because I found them around the house and I haven't used them since I'm a kid. So, uh, but they still work because they last forever. So yeah, but if you do want to use paint, feel free to use paint. But uh, if you're not a fan of getting messy, use some crayons or some pencils or some felt tip pens as well. Right, so first things first, we need to cut our plate. So I've done some dotted work at the back. So we're going to need to cut the caterpillar's body like this around the plate. So the caterpillar's body will be the plate's edge and we're going to use the center to make its face. So what I've done is I've dotted the lines to just help me follow what I need to cut like this. And I'm just going to follow that with my scissors. So it just goes straight down go and then I'm gonna go around like this I'm just following the dotted line because it helped me helps me have a better awareness of what I need to do there we go boom so that's my caterpillar's body done and now I'm just gonna cut the circle out so that I can have a head there we go. Now you can leave your caterpillar's body like this. I think my caterpillar looks a little bit fat. I'm actually going to leave him like that because I quite like it. Um, beautiful. So I've got my body and I've got my head, so now I'm going to put them together. I'm going to grab my glue and I'm going to put the glue actually on the this guy. <laughs> the caterpillar's body. I'm gonna get the glue out and I'm going to stick, 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 rub it down. There we go. Then I'm gonna grab the circle and I'm gonna squeeze them together. Squeeze it down, press it down hard with my muscles, and I'm gonna count to 20 actually. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, ten more to go, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Done! So we've got a caterpillar, nice and chubby caterpillar because it's had all the food to eat, and the head of the caterpillar. So now all we need to do is decorate our caterpillar. It's done. I lie, it's not done. <laughs> we need the antennas. And what we're going to do is we're going to just snip a little bit of the leftover plate off. Now, if you want, you can trace the bit that you need to, to cut, but I'm just going to go straight for it. Boom. And boom. Nope, that one flew away. Boom. There we go. So now we've got two guys, two workers on tennis. And I'm also going to stick these on. Stick it on. There we go. And while that one's drying, I'm just going to get this one out as well. I'm going to stick that as well. Here I'm going to press. Press it down really hard. There we go. And our antennas are made. So now that our color pillar is made, all we need to do is decorate it. And I'm going to use my crayons like i said i'm using crayons to vary a little bit the the materials that i've been using and i found the crayons in my room and since i haven't used them in a really long time i thought it would be quite a nice thing to use them and see how they do so i'm just going to get some yellow and i'm going to color my face i'm going to do something nice and quick this activity can actually take 
loads of time with my initial caterpillar as you can see i did a pattern i did some zigzags at the bottom i alternated some colors and took a really nice time and it was you know very very enjoyable so you know depending on the materials that you have at home you can either decorate your caterpillar with some collages again you can use your glitter and go all out and make it fabulous you can use some paints again or you could use some dry materials like felt tips so my face is painted i'm gonna do a nice big smile big caterpillar smile and some eyes there we go this is what we get lovely and now i'm gonna decorate the body and i'm gonna get some green and i am just gonna do a zigzag on top to start off with there we go and i'm gonna get my red back and i'm gonna do some polka dots because my caterpillar has style and you know make it a fantastic caterpillar why not it's gonna get some stripes going down here there we go a little bit I'm gonna give him many legs it's almost like a centipede i guess there we go now the crayons take a little while to pop but they look really nice anyway and i'm gonna just give it a little bit of color over here because why not there we go so i've made a very quick caterpillar for you all to see at home and i have my not so quick caterpillar that i took a little bit more time to decorate um so you see two very different caterpillars this one definitely had a lot longer to I dedicated a lot longer to and this one just to show you an example of what we can make uh so yeah so you guys i'd love for you to go out and make your own caterpillars use many different types of materials if you have them if not just use what you have at home that works as well you can also use the stamps that we did last time um on the caterpillars to decorate them and make a pattern so yeah plenty plenty of ideas of, on how to decorate them yeah so go out make your beautiful caterpillars and put them together with the lovely butterflies that we did a couple of weeks ago and yeah hope you've enjoyed our crash art session we'll see you later bye